alchemist astrologer and this is your May forecast for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Rising, and Scorpio Moon. You have the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So for some of you, you're very motivated, you're enthusiastic, there's a fresh start. And perhaps this is a passionate union. Maybe you just met somebody. For others of you, maybe your relationship is involving. There's a lot of sexual chemistry and motivation. But this is a passion that has to be acted upon. Otherwise, it may fizzle out. And you yourself have a lot of magnetism, a lot of mojo, a lot of pulling power right now. So there are some changes that are taking place, probably in your awareness of yourself, your partner, and whatever you come to discover, because you could be making some inquiries that yield some results. You're trying to get some answers and you're getting something back. And so for some of you, you're recognizing that you're better off than you were you know, thinking that you were prepared for. Maybe you're better off handling a situation. You may be gaining some clarity about circumstances. For some of you, you may have received some kind of financial boost. This Nine of Pentacles says there could have been something romantic or social, maybe connected to family or property, that yielded some kind of beneficial result for you. And this boost now makes you feel stable enough to open yourself up emotionally or to build on the relationship you have in a better way. For some of you, maybe there's a fresh start because of some business opportunity. Maybe you're becoming self-employed or more self-sufficient. Uh, for some of you, this is a, a, an attraction you have perhaps for maybe a mistress or someone on the side or somebody thus far who you've been unable to connect with. This would be somebody who is your ideal and yet they're inaccessible or unavailable. So, you know, maybe this is this strong sexual attraction to a secret admirer that you have uh, or someone is admiring of you. This could also be you're making this new start going in a new direction. Maybe you want to be by yourself. You're more satisfied with your own company. You're seeking to be single. Or again, maybe you got this financial boost and it's allowed you now to live and do as you please. And you're seeking some harmony, some inner peace uh, with your environment, perhaps with a partner. And again, maybe there's issues of privacy uh, where somebody's inaccessible or they're difficult to know or somewhat close, very private. Or perhaps you need to have more private time with your partner. Now, your partner's represented by this Three of Pentacles and the Empress. So there are issues concerning cooperation. And perhaps you'll be having a face-to-face -face meeting with this person. Now, if there have been some issues, maybe you want to smooth some things over. It could be that, you know, you're in a relationship with this Ace of Wands where maybe it's just about the superficial, the sexual connection or the surface, and there's a lack of depth or intimacy in the relationship. Or it could be one of you feels very inhibited. Uh, there's some disappointment, some unfulfilled expectations or a lack of passion. And if that's the case, there may have even been some accusations, uh, some gossip or some rumors to contend with between the two of you. So this Three of Pentacles says you're looking for some kind of... Uh, cooperation in working out some issues. Perhaps you're trying to get something going, getting something off of the ground. Maybe you're working on a project with your partner or your partner's uh, away working on a project. So this is trying to, you know, put everything in place to get something launched, started off of the ground, whether again between the two of you uh, as a couple or either of you as individuals. And so you're looking at what can be strengthened, what, where the weaknesses are, and you may be doing that in some kind of group dynamic. Again, a face-to-face -face meeting where you go over the finer points of a situation. Maybe you're in a conference. Maybe you're uh, having counseling or therapy. Uh, maybe there's, there are issues about property where you, you are working with your partner on solidifying something through investments or real estate. Uh, but again, if there have been some issues, things may not be exactly as they appear on the surface. Uh, 
and you're trying to shine a light, or your partner is, on where the cracks, the flaws are in a situation. Either of you may feel that uh, the other person is too emotionally needy or codependent or they come with so much baggage and if you could get rid of that maybe you could make some progress. The Empress card says though you can smooth some things over if you want. Your communication skills may improve. You may be making better connections socially, romantically, or your partner is. And as long as you're applying your effort or your partner is putting out the effort, you're likely to move in the direction you seek. Whether you've met the goal or not, you're headed that way. However, your partner may also be extravagant, self-indulgent, apathetic, which could lead to some kind of setback uh, or trigger some kind of negative situation that reflects poorly. And it could be that, you know, there's a lot of fantasy going on. Now, fantasy may be a good thing, but again, this Ace of Wands says that whatever this is, this enthusiasm has to be acted upon or it's going to fizzle out. So you have to visualize it. Maybe somebody's totally focused on one thing that could be detrimental. Uh, and maybe there's not enough action being put, put forth. So there's divine timing in place. Uh, some of you, maybe your partner's working on something creative. Maybe you're helping with that. But whatever it is, it's the divine time for something to happen in connection to your partner. The universe is working to unfold a situation just as it should, whether it feels that way or not. Your romance is characterized by the Two of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So those are great cards for a romance. Uh, there's a lot of expression, sharing of feelings. In fact, you'll both be compelled to share how you feel about this partnership. And for some of you, this is a focus on an equal exchange, what's being reciprocated, how attached you are. And for some of you, there could be issues that solidify your relationship and make you feel very loyal, very devoted, and maybe you feel supported by your partner as well. On the other hand, if something isn't going well, you may feel that your relationship, again, is not meeting your expectation. In fact, there could be some outside pressures that are weighing in on your relationship and putting it more at risk than you had anticipated. And some of you have started relationships that really didn't have the potential to last. In fact, it may be doomed to fail. And you may suddenly decide to end a relationship and do it in a surprising way. So you'll be sharing your feelings or your partner will, where either you're going to be a staunch supporter of your partner and their interests or vice versa, or somehow you're going to become an opponent. But there's something uh, in the works. You're trying to manifest something. And there's a risk factor, and perhaps you're trying to choose. Should you go with what's safe, what's comfortable, what you know? Or should you move in a direction where you feel passionate, something that lights your fire? So there's a risk, and you're trying to make sure you make the right choice. And it ties to your domestic affairs. What is the domestic environment? Are you living the blissful, happy life that you want? What's the atmosphere between the two of you in the living quarters? Uh, and some of you, this may have to do with trying to create a situation where perhaps you're going to purchase property. So you're sharing your feelings about an agreement, uh, maybe a contract on a piece of property, uh, a partnership, and what the domestic environment feels like. Is this the happy home life that you're seeking? The problem is some kind of ending or betrayal, though, a feeling of victimization. Now, one of you may be dealing with some kind of serious loss or illness, uh, but this could also be a mindset where one of you feels pinned to circumstances. And it may be because of some recent disappointments, some betrayal, some letdown or some challenge that was difficult to, to overcome. And so either things have been, uh, you feel overwhelmed because things have moved so quickly, or there's a sense of uh, despair, perhaps, because nothing is moving as you would like it to. But the Ten of Swords, although a lot of people hate this card, the Ten of, Cor Ten of Swords, for me, uh, is not as negative 
as it looks because oftentimes it's a mindset where a person merely feels like a victim. They're having their own pity party. And this card is the end of a cycle. So you could very well be on the verge of a situation that was negative that it, that and the worst is over. The clouds are clearing. But you are struggling with something, perhaps struggling to end something or struggling with an ending loss or betrayal. Uh, the problem is you need to work together to come up with a solution to solve a problem because you could be caught up in some petty ego battles where you or your partner are both trying to be in charge or pride could get in the way. So everybody's trying to have the last say. And so there's a sense of being victimized because of a struggle. And it's difficult to get some illumination about that, to find a solution. Even though there may be a solution at hand or imminent, you may have difficulty working with your partner to solve a problem. You may be struggling with this feeling of depression or being victimized or pinned to a circumstance. And what's driving that is this devil card. For some of you, there's a tie to a Capricorn person. But for others of you, perhaps this is an ex or some kind of extra responsibility, burden, challenge, delay that you're dealing with. Could even be, again, that attitude of fear or pessimism that you're being restricted by. So there's some form of deception that you may be dealing with and trying to overcome. Whatever it is, it has kicked in your instincts to survive. And so whether you're facing a challenge or an opportunity, you're willing perhaps to do whatever it takes or your partner is to serve an agenda. And that can be destructive if you allow your ego to push you in a negative or destructive direction. You may fall prey to some kind of temptation and give in to it and justify that because you had that end goal. So this is about uh, coming up with a solution. And in fact, you may have some kind of brilliant idea that saves you from some kind of impending challenge or your partner in the very nick of time. But you're trying to sort some things out. What's fiction versus what's reality? And you may be struggling with you know, getting some clarity, and it could be that some pride or ego is blocking uh, a situation. Some You are being triggered by your partner or vice versa, or pride prevents you from, you know, moving forward. You feel restricted. Uh, you recognize, perhaps, that your relationship needs some mending. Somebody may have been acting with a big head and a small heart. So the devil card says that you're dealing with some kind of delay, challenge, or restriction that may, again, tie to authority, authority figures, could be business, maybe one of you is a workaholic. Uh, there's some compulsion or obsession, perhaps a self-perpetuating habit that keeps you in bondage to a negative situation, and you need to sort that out. Now the advice card is, I embrace my femininity and the power of pink. So I'm going to leave that for your uh, musings. And the outcome is the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups. So for some of you, uh, again, this may be some workaholic tendencies, taking on way too many obligations, spreading yourself too thin, putting forth a lot of effort, but not getting quite the results that you want. Some of you, this may be uh, issues connected to moving, uh, meeting with resistance. This is about carrying a load that may not be yours, unreasonable obligations. And it's also about blowing some things out of proportion that you may be attaching too much importance or significance for something to the point that it's not even the problem anymore. The hang-up that you've attached to the significance of it is actually the problem. So this may be the, a call to give up some things so that something better can fall in its place. If you're having too much work, too many responsibilities, you may need to let some of that go in order to make more time for your partnership or vice versa. Uh, again, especially with this, um, which was it? Where you're looking at uh, where you know how much 
effort and energy is being applied, whether somebody's being apathetic, they're taking on enough responsibility. This Six of Cups says there's a tie to the past. Uh, it may be connected to an old lover, an ex, the one that got away, a friendship, and some exchange. And so for some of you, there could be a resistance to sharing how you feel or some sentiment. Uh, but there's opportunity to do so. And in fact, there could be some doorways that were once closed that are now opening. Something that you thought wasn't possible to occur now has a possibility. But for others of you, you may have to deal with something that you're resistant to, talking or seeing someone that you'd rather avoid or not deal with. So you're dealing with some memories, and you may be resistant to that, uh, or you may be, you know, working towards something. And for some of you, it's about being more playful. Again, especially if you have some workaholic tendencies, or if you've taken on way too much, something is burdensome, and you're going to have to release something. So maybe, you know, you need to be more lighthearted, more playful, or maybe somebody's not taking something as seriously as they should. And it's surrounding the birth of something. Now, for some of you, maybe there is a resistance to having a, a child, the responsibility, the burden of it. Maybe you're trying to give birth to something new, and it's a lot of hard work and extra responsibility. Maybe you need to go in a new direction. Uh, for some of you, maybe there was an unexpected pregnancy, but there's something new occurring. Now, you have two major cards, the Empress and the Devil. And so, again, this speaks to making sure that you don't fall prey to some kind of temptation or tendency, because the Empress can be an overindulgence, an extravagance, uh, an apathy, going to extremes with something, or waiting for something to come rather than working toward it. And the Devil card says you're going to have to recognize how you may be vulnerable to exploitation, either through temptation or by exploiting others. You're doing some kind of... Uh, juggling here. Responsibilities to people. Uh, maybe you don't have enough resources and that presents some kind of limitation. But you are looking at making some choices. It could be to travel. Again, it could be figuring out your options between two separate opportunities, two lovers. Uh, and you may feel this emotional seesaw because of that. So you're having to sort out some things and the focus is trying to do what's pleasing to you, but also accommodate your partner. And there are discussions that center on the future, perhaps some transaction. Maybe it's tied to a project or a piece of property or an investment. Uh, but you're having to focus on the here and now. There may be some extra responsibilities or delays or challenges to deal with in order to lay the foundation for the future. Uh, it could also be some situation connected to socializing, where you're sharing your feelings, you're socializing with others, could be some third-party influence, whatever that may be. And you're sifting through information, trying to sort out what is valid, what's gossip, what's fluff, you're going to get some important information that crosses your path, but you're going to have to recognize it and determine whether it's the truth. Because in some cases, either you or the partner is embellishing, bending, maybe you're hearing some gossip or some rumors, so you're going to have to sort out uh, what's true. There's something about the past that is currently influencing your present situation. There's a pronounced focus on work, productivity, creativity, fertility. So whether you're producing something with tangible results, whether that be an investment, a project, or a child, that's the focus. But there is some kind of turmoil, some kind of outer forces at work that are influencing your situation. So changes are going to come due to other people. And it may center around some form of benefit or a favor that you could receive from others or your partner. 
And whatever this is, it has the potential for lasting gains or losses. So there are going to be some emotional developments for you this month. Uh, there's going to be a change in the plans, and that's your challenge, your desires, your drive, your motivation. Create some kind of challenge for you. Uh, and it centers on the ability to meet clarify, improve, or repair some aspect of your domestic life, your health, your work routine, and your striving for recognition or success, whether from your partner or out in the world. And how you go about that. Is it supporting that drive for success or is it undermining it in some way? All right, Scorpio, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notify bell. And of course, make some positive change in your relationship. Let's create a love revolution.